You can include clickable hyperlinks in your document to provide instant access to information in another part of that same document. The hyperlink can be linked to text or graphics. The use of clickable hyperlinks is a convenient way to share the same information in your document without duplicating the very same information on various pages. There are many uses for hyperlinks. Hyperlinks allow you to make text or graphics clickable, allowing people easy and instant access to the internet, other areas of the same document, email and new documents, just by clicking a mouse on an active hyperlink. Hyperlinks can also be useful in an ebook's table of contents and index. This video will demonstrate how to add clickable hyperlinks to book chapters listed in an ebook's table of contents. On this screen is a sample table of contents page in a book having three chapters. Our objective will be to add a clickable hyperlink to each of the three chapters on the table of contents page that will go to the appropriate chapter in the book instantly after the hyperlink is clicked on. Okay, now let's add clickable hyperlinks to each of these three chapters which requires two steps. The first step would be to bookmark the three chapter titles that are located at the beginning of each of the three chapters. The second step would be to add hyperlinks on the table of contents page to each of the three chapters that were bookmarked. The following will illustrate the two-step process of adding clickable hyperlinks to chapters in a book that are listed on the table of contents page. First step is to bookmark each of the three chapters. For chapter one, select by clicking and dragging over the lettering in the chapter title. And then click on insert bookmark and name this bookmark Chapter 1. And click on Insert. Now, we'll do the same thing for Chapter 2. Here's Chapter 2. Select by clicking and dragging over the lettering in the chapter title. And then click on Insert Bookmark. and name this bookmark Chapter 2. And click on Insert. And now do the same thing for Chapter 3. Here's Chapter 3. Select by clicking and dragging over the lettering in the chapter title. And then click on Insert Bookmark and name this bookmark Chapter 3. And click on Insert. Now, every chapter in our table of contents has been bookmarked. The second step is to add hyperlinks to each chapter on the table of contents. To provide a visual hint that the chapters have active hyperlinks, you can underline the name of each chapter. Underlining hyperlinks is optional that you may or may not consider doing. Now that all chapter titles have been bookmarked, select the entire line by clicking and dragging over the lettering in the entire line that the chapter name is written on and adding a hyperlink to that chapter's bookmark. By selecting the entire line, the chapter number and page number also become active hyperlinks. Now, select the entire line for chapter 1 by clicking and dragging over the lettering in the entire line and click on Insert Hyperlink. And click on Document. Next, click on the Target in Document button. and click on Bookmarks. And you see bookmarks previously created, entitled Chapter 1, Chapter 2 and Chapter 3. For this Chapter 1, select Chapter 1. And then click on Apply. Now you will see that Chapter 1 is now written as the target in document. 
and click on OK. Now Chapter 1 has an active clickable hyperlink on the Table of Contents page that will access Chapter 1 when clicked on. Now, let's add hyperlinks also to Chapters 2 and 3. Next, select the entire line for Chapter 2 by clicking and dragging over the lettering in the entire line and click on Insert Hyperlink. And click on Document. Next, click on the Target in Document button. And click on Bookmarks. And you see bookmarks previously created, entitled Chapter 1, Chapter 2, and Chapter 3. For this Chapter 2, select Chapter 2. And then click on Apply. Now you will see that Chapter 2 is now written as the target in document. And click on OK. Now Chapter 2 has an active clickable hyperlink on the Table of Contents page that will access Chapter 2 when clicked on. And for Chapter 3, select the entire line for Chapter 3 by clicking and dragging over the lettering in the entire line and click on Insert Hyperlink. And click on Document. Next, click on the Target in Document button. And click on Bookmarks. And you see bookmarks previously created, entitled Chapter 1, Chapter 2, and Chapter 3. For this Chapter 3, select Chapter 3. And then click on Apply. Now you will see that Chapter 3 is now written as the target in document. And click on OK. Now Chapter 3 has an active clickable hyperlink on the Table of Contents page that will access Chapter 3 when clicked on. Now that all three chapters on the Table of Contents page now have hyperlinks, let's export the book to a PDF file and test out each of the hyperlinks. To export to a PDF file, click on File. Click on Export As. Then, click on Export As PDF. Click on Export. And click on Save. OK, this is the same PDF file exported as a PDF. It's time to test the hyperlinks created on the Table of Contents page to see if they work properly. Let's click on Chapter 1 on the Table of Contents page to see if it takes us to Chapter 1. Yes, Chapter 1 hyperlink took us to Chapter 1 when clicked on. Now, let's click on Chapter 2 on the Table of Contents page to see if it takes us to Chapter 2. Yes, Chapter 2 hyperlink took us to Chapter 2 when clicked on. And, let's click on Chapter 3 on the Table of Contents page to see if it takes us to Chapter 3. Yes, Chapter 3 hyperlink took us to Chapter 3 when clicked on. That is how you can add hyperlinks to your ebook. There are several types of ebooks such as EPUB, Kindle, Mobile Pocket, PDF, etc. In this particular instance, the file type of the ebook we added hyperlinks to was a PDF file. That is how you can add hyperlinks to your table of contents in an ebook. That is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please visit the opportuno.org website. Thank you.